talking about lies why are they lying to us that prince harry and Meghan Markle are one of the hundred well one of the hundred most influential people in the world why are they doing this to us and why is prince harry standing behind Meghan like this what is this picture i don't understand it this has to be up there with one of the most cucked images i've ever seen in my entire life and it's so unnecessary like what he did for his wife and his family was incredibly brave it took a lot of courage it took a lot of balls to decide to basically excommunicate yourself from the royal family to basically denounce your throne denounce your title all that sort of shit right that's big deal right um having to go on your own and make money your own way and startups and be an investor and all this sort of stuff and media personality from somebody that again you grow up in a family where you basically are told um that there's nothing more important than keeping secrets there's nothing more important than presenting a good face to the public and all this sort of stuff to go from that to being a kind of open book sort of weird youtube influencer person guy whatever is a very strange pivot but the fact that he did it is commendable enough do you know what i mean he doesn't need to go on this sort of like weird cucky soy boy tour where he's keeps standing behind his missus to basically illustrate what that she's the one wearing the trousers no she isn't because she clearly said in the interview that she went to off herself because the queen and a few other people in the family were mean to her again you know looking back at that interview with oprah like you know let's relax oh were we surprised that the royal family had some very um derogatory and insulting views against a mixed race lady that is marrying the prince like are we surprised that they might have some questionable views on race <laughs> and on class when it comes to um prince harry marrying basically an ex you know um hollywood actor are we surprised by it not really but that was enough to send her into a spiral so the fact that they've got her in a pair of trousers standing in front of prince harry who is like leaning on the on the wall he's wearing black she's wearing white is she the real hope and he's in the back in clandestine just protecting her or is it just one of those weird images where you know you hear a noise downstairs uh, your missus looks at you you look at her and you give it a bat and you kind of hide under the flipping duvet covers what is this like who wants this really in general again i think the prince harry who who kind of took his wife by the hand and said we're leaving this family is the one that i would imagine most women would want right did would they would they want this one this one is kind of cowering behind a woman hoping that she kind of you know saves him and protects him from all the nasty things that people are saying about him in public like i don't know man this is really odd and again for, for people who said they wanted their own privacy and they, again this is a real piers morgan type of thing to say but there might be some relevance in it right in the fact that they were very keen to escape the royal family in order for them to leave a somewhat peaceful private life but if anything everywhere you turn these motherfuckers can't stop shutting up right they can't stop talking about their experience they can't stop t posing for pictures you know doing press junkets or charity runs whatever whatever they're doing whether it's authentic or not there is there is definitely some incongruence with the fact that you're asking for privacy but then the moment you get it you the moment you kind of get away from the monsters or people that are not giving you your privacy all we keep seeing is you where where does the moment of self-reflection of kind of going away and kind of collecting your thoughts and deciding what you want to do and how you want to present yourself to the world it doesn't exist it's just fame 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 put me in front of the cover all this sort of stuff like why are they influential why tell me tell me what's influential about them I just don't understand it. I don't get it. Again, I think the Time Magazine, 100 of most influential people is similar to like those hip hop lists that they make of like dead or, alive, dead or alive rappers and everyone gets in a flipping, their panties in a twist because everyone's got their favorites, but they do them because they know it generates clicks and it's an easy um, sort of piece of content that you can put out there that will go viral on its own. So maybe it's the same sort of thing with Time. You're not really meant to get annoyed about this sort of stuff. They're obviously doing it on purpose to press your buttons. Congratulations. You guys have won. You got me on that one but i just don't see the i just don't see how this is cool in any way or empowering it does nothing to anybody like what does this show like i don't know we all saw her again we all saw her crying complaining that she was nearly went to office off because the queen was being mean why is she suddenly now wearing the trousers and wearing white and standing white why are we meant to believe that she's the strong matriarch that's holding down the family we know that's not the case we know that Prince Harry is the one that held them down. And again, as you should do, because he's a man, he should kind of step in when the woman kind of feels like she's on her last breath and she's crumbling and she can't handle it anymore, especially when she's pregnant. Of course, take the onus, protect your wife, protect your family. But this rewriting of the narrative is just utterly bizarre. I just don't understand it. Really, really don't. But, you know, 
Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me.